Hello YouTube, Infinite Magic Ray Community, Gandalf here. We're looking at fashion and let's first talk about his kit and why you want to summon him and the reasons why you want to summon him is actually not because he's a turn meter booster and he's going to change the meta in PvP. I don't think he's going to change the meta for a couple of reasons. Uh, first of all, okay, uh, what I'll say is from a turn meter boosting, yes, you get a total of 32%, which is the biggest boost if you're running a full um, full Sega City team. That's wonderful. And here you get 32% uh, when you're running a full team in terms of initial starting turn meter. So you get that exclusive too. Uh, otherwise, he only starts with 20%. Um, and exclusive three is when you're getting all that. Um, I don't think it's worth it to go to exclusive three on him. The reason is because we have Ronai in the game and Ronai plus Popper is 35%. Fashion needs to run a full team to get a 32. So given the same stats, Popper plus Rona is going to be the first mover if we're doing a purely uh, turn-based, speech-based team. And if you run Ronai with Bunny and Popper, likelihood your Bunny is also going to move and move twice or allow Popper to go off anyways. So on, on that note, really, um, you are definitely, if you're talking about speed racing against other players, Ronai is the hero that you want, which is also on the banner, by the way. So, you know, if you're going for fresh end and you, you know, miss and you get a Ronai, that's still pretty good. Um, I kind of put a few eyes on Ronai, but that's okay. I mean, she's not exclusive five yet. So we are going to pull for him. So let's go back to the reason why you actually, I feel like is the bigger deal here. It's the fact he brings deep internal injury to if we feel Indra's damage is not ridiculous enough for you, you can now make his damage plus another 1.5%. So pretty much, look, with the heroes that have been released now, even with average gear clearing 30 on faction with this team will be easy. Okay, I, I'm going to, my goal is, I have two eyes coming, I think. Uh, my bag here. Um, I have eight here, and on my daily, I'm almost there for the uh, Lego eye. I am so looking forward to getting E2 on Indra, and by picking a fashion, I think I'm going to be smacking the boss probably if in two shots. So I'm really looking forward to it, and fashion will make uh, speed tuning a lot easier to make sure I go before the boss and just setting up for that one turn nuke onto the boss. Um, that's the reason why you want to pull for him is because you already have a really strong Sega City, not because he's going to be a PvP hero. So having said that, disclaimers out of the way. Wish me luck. Let's not break the bank. Um, we do get the next limited hero for free if you haven't checked out my other video. Um, let's get summoning, guys. And I actually kind of do want every single hero on this banner, so let's just not make me go to pity twice. Or full pity on all these. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Um, we have 95. And I think we have just enough for 300 or so through gems. So hopefully it doesn't break the bank and make me spend all my resource in getting him. Uh, let's go, let's go, uh, to the, uh, let's, let's, let's grab that. I feel like we can grab that. Sorry. Um, shouldn't be, I'm definitely not getting any of these. Um, uh, resource store. Let's get, uh, 34 more. Uh, we're at, so we need 36 more, I think. All right. Uh, okay, we're at 100. Uh, all right.
right. You know, it's my birthday, so. Is there any birthday luck in this? Don't take me to full pity. It's probably the least valuable one on the whole thing. Come on, game. Don't, 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 don't do this to me. Um, let's try 130. Um... If I get it on the second one, I'll accept that, or, or get it early. But but if it takes me to a full pity for both, like I feel like the game just doesn't like me, even on, even if it's on my birthday. <sighs> okay, at least we get a we got the the epic there, so that's uh that's uh that's a miracle that we can um grab there. Uh, he'll be nice with E1, I believe. With E1, E1, you get to trigger the, you get to trigger the the internal bleed stacks, which will be really nice. Um, so you speed up the first turn, you you let your entire team go. He probably will be able to go again, and he's going to trigger the stacks. Um, very good setup that way. 37 more. Uh, let's go for 30. Okay, sort of early. Brand new here, brand new here. We got him. All right, all right. That's really happy. Um, didn't have to go to the third pity. So I guess I'll say thank you, game, uh, for for it. And do we have a second one? No, that that's wishful thinking. But I'm pretty happy. Uh, we got him. We got him. Um, and I do need the Alec E3. So. There you go, guys. Hope you enjoy the summons. Um, look forward to showing case, showcasing him in the full Sega City team. He's definitely getting built. Um, going to build him right away here. Uh, looking forward to that. By the way, guys, if you if you like to be more organized, you could always uh, convert all of your heroes. Um, into that are five star fodder into the eggs, so just so it takes up less space. For those of you who are running out of space in your hero bag for some reason, uh, that's a possible option for you. All right. Um, yeah, he's he's gonna be E1 for a while, but anyways, we'll end the video here. Um, I don't think people are interested in watching hero building, anyways. Um, I will definitely showcase him in a future video. Uh, maybe when we're pushing for Faction 30. Uh, uh, you'll definitely see him in that team. All right, I'll catch you guys in a future video. Gandalf out.